Yo guys, what's going on? It's Adam, and welcome back to Dark Devotion. So, um, I actually am back here with a slightly different loadout. Um, I didn't know that you can't quit out the game um, through the menu here and just pick up right where you left off. It actually booted me to the start menu um, and back to the Filth Blood shelter. So, um, yeah, I'll be using rest mode on my PS4 from now on. Um, but yeah, uh, slightly different loadout, a little bit less uh, prepared, I think, because I rushed to this room. But let's see, yeah, let's see how far we can get. Um, so again, yeah, we just entered this room here, and we're going to have two praying altars that we can hopefully find. I'm just going to try to take a peek at what's around here. <laughs> We've also got a slightly different rune equipped, I, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, we've got damage boost, um, 40 to 60 hit points, I believe, once it's activated, so that's going to be sweet. Ah, here is an NPC I think we want to help out. He left me in here, <laughs> or he let me in first and then locked me in here, that is... That is just rude. <laughs> so there's somebody locked in here. Um, apparently somebody locked them in there and they need help. So let's go ahead, use a key, and head on in. Okay. Got a poultice here, so let's see who this is. Found a way to open that awful door, I'm so thankful. So this is Jail, ironically named. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of skip through some of the dialogue here. Everything here is yours. That was the deal, no? Let's see what she dropped for us. Jail's jewelry. That looks great. Four, four uh, health points. We definitely need that. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And let's check. Yes. We've got a sword on that corpse. And I think that's going to do it. Let's make sure we exhaust her dialogue. Her? Him? Actually, I don't know. I assumed it, it looks like a her, but it might be a him. <laughs> I don't know. And there we go. I'm not going to go too deep into the different storylines. Oh, it looks like we just got a random curse assigned to us. Um, but I think this game... There is a lot to this game. And I'm not sure... I'm not sure reading all the dialogue is a good way to cover this let's play because I I won't be trying to interpret all the different storylines <laughs> I just I guess it's not uh, that's not my forte I play games <laughs> um, and usually after I beat them several times then I go back to try to understand the lore that's just uh, just how I roll okay See if we can't avoid taking damage for the majority of this room. Um, so it looks like we're going to have a path downwards and also upwards. I'm not sure which one we'd want to take. Uh, there is... Looks like that's one of the altars, the praying altars right there. It's probably a blessing. It looks like a blessing altar. Um, it's got to be the lower one there. I'm not sure where this one is. Let's head up this ladder. Okay. Oh, just barely. Oops, swung too late there. Let's actually hop down here. We're going to use the... The Wrath of God, let's call it. There it is. Take him out very quickly. Ooh, Sorrel Shield. Mmm... So let's see, I, actually I do have this spell equipped 
still. I think I'm going to keep that. I don't have any ranged options otherwise. Um, and this is my two-handed sword, so I can't actually take that shield with me. Oops. Let's see what we have. Yeah, actually that's, that's exactly why we need ranged options, so... Oh, okay. Today I learned. <laughs> you can't actually hit that with a spell. Um, Alright, let's see... Ooh. Oh, that is way too close for comfort. <laughs> ah, okay, so this is the this is the path upwards. I may actually take this. I think there were more things we could have gotten to go on the path below. But I'm I'm curious as to what what happens up here. Actually, you know what? No, let's. I take that back. There is our quest. Actually, our quest items are our are, are enemies are probably going to be down this way. So let's actually take let's actually take the lower route. I'm actually just going to elect to fall. Again, no fall damage, so that's wonderful. And yeah, at least on the route down here, we can pick up this item. Let's make sure there's no key in there. Okay. And yeah, it looks like there was probably another way down here. Definitely a spike pit to fall into. Um, let's see if we can open, yeah, open these doors and try to get some more loot. Oh, hello, sir. So this, this has to be an important NPC. Hmm. Doesn't seem to give us any dialogue. And there's no item or... Or even a, a broken wall in here. So I, I don't know who this is, but very interesting person sitting in a cell. <laughs> we'll see if he comes up later. I'm gonna go ahead and use my last key here. Whoa! What in the hell is this? Can I? I can interact with this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't think I want to pick this up right now. <laughs> um, I will, and then I'll put it back down. But five of five health points sounds great. But this item, um, once you pick it up, the left elite earring actually makes every single enemy an elite. So we haven't run into one yet, but elite enemies um, have a yellow glow to them. Uh, so they distinctly stand out from regular enemies. Um, it's not any any new type of enemy, it's just that existing enemies in the areas become yellow, um, and then they are more powerful, uh, which of course means they're harder to defeat. Um, but the drops that they they give you are much better. So they, they usually drop um, several items at once and more rare items. Um, but I think at such a low level right now, making every enemy an elite is going to be dangerous, so I'm going to avoid that. <laughs> um, at some point, we may actually make use of that, though. All right. So let's continue forward here. Let's go ahead and check the map. Ooh, looks like we're going actually further right. Um, we'll see if we actually wrap back around to one of the quest enemies here. Um, but in this room, looks like we have an ancient tablet and a couple of praying altars. Let's see if we can't find those. I can hear the altar. Hopefully hovering somewhere nearby. Oh, looks like he dropped for us the chip sword. I'm going to go ahead and keep my... My other sword, but we'll do the quick blueprint swap. Oh, this is actually a great uh, series of events here. Because I see below an elite enemy. And that is already a tough enemy at this low level, so I don't know if we want to fight him. <laughs> but this is what I was talking about. When they're, when they're elite, they actually glow yellow. Um, so that's kind of, the, kind of the giveaway there. Um... I don't know if we're going to try to fight him. <laughs> Maybe after we finish exploring this room, we'll give it a go. 
And here is our ancient tablet. What do we have? Improved critical chance. Sweet. Let's go ahead and read the note. Again, I think I won't focus on reading all of these notes. Um, I'll make sure that some of these notes and maybe some of the dialogue are at least brought up. But I won't go ahead and read them all out. Um, but if anybody wants to, you could pause at any time and kind of check the dialogue. Okay, let's see what we have here. Make sure we roll through some of these boxes. Oh, do we have to go down there? I think we have to. <laughs> so, yep, I think we want to go down there. Um, oh boy, let's see. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to give it a go. Let me just make sure that there was nothing else in the room that I missed. Okay, nope, so it looks like everything was good. We kind of cleared things for now. Um, oh boy, okay, let's go ahead and use our green needles here. Uh, enhance the stamina regen for one room. Um, let's see what disease we might have. Yeah, I think we actually, I think we want to get rid of, we can only get rid of one disease right now because we only have one surgical device. Um, let's use that and use a healing item. Um, and we may actually want to use our godless idol on this guy because we need all the help we can get. Oh, you know what? Oh, if I can time this right, it'd be great to get to that platform because I think I saw a chest on the other side, which may contain something that can help us with this guy. Okay. Yeah, these enemies are just very difficult because of their range. Okay. Actually, this is a lot of, it's gonna be a lot of finessing and trying to get on that platform. Let's see if we can't just take them out. The old-fashioned way rune is activated. That's going to severely help. Oof. Okay. Oh, 48 damage. That's good. 43. Yes, he is down. That. <laughs> that went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> okay, so picking up. Look at all the drops we get from this, though. This is... This is definitely the difference when fighting an elite enemy. So let's pick up this item. So uh, gaining faith refills your stamina. Okay. So it looks like this is a two-handed weapon. And some of these two-handed weapons actually... Whoops. Um, actually give you, instead of the parry animation, like our, our greatsword has, you get this quick dodge animation. So it's a lot different than your dodge roll. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess if you're... If you're looking for sort of a quick dodge, that's that's possible. Um, I think I don't want this. We already have a two-handed weapon. And I kind of want to keep some range available with that spell. So let's get on the platform here. Okay, so we have some more needles. I'm actually going to use, again, that stamina item that I don't think is super useful. And let's actually just hop on down. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright, so there's probably an item on that uh, corpse up there that we could have accessed. Oh, I didn't even see that trap. Nice critical there. And let's finish. Is that a chip sword again? Old sword. That doesn't seem to be any better than our Templar sword, so I'll go ahead and leave that there. Okay, so we did find the ancient tablet, at least. Uh, by the way, once we find them, they do kind of glow. So this one's glowing yellow. Uh, so we know that was a an improved critical chance. Ooh, are we? Aha! I do remember this room. Crusader's Haven. So this is kind of a, more or less a common area that you can reach after um, exploring multiple different routes on your way through this dungeon. Um, but they all sort of lead to this point here. And through that door is a very formidable foe. We'll see how we do. We definitely want to activate this teleportation altar. Um, we don't need any heals, but we do have a disease. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of that. Okay. Let's 
see if this guy has anything for us. Doesn't look like it. And yes, we have more white coated needles. Makes you more precise for one room. I actually I'm trying to think which items, if any, I want to drop to pick up this. In a boss fight, these might be very useful. Um, I'm hinting at that because, of course, there is a boss fight coming up next. <laughs> I think I'm going to drop my godless idols, take the stamina regen item, and let's go on ahead. <laughs> And there he is. Uh, what I like about this is you actually have the option to use some of your items before you activate the boss fight. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use the black coated needles as well as the white. So we should get some boost to our stats here. Okay. We are more precise and a bit more deadly. Let's see if we can't take this guy down. We've got three healing items and f we can take four hits. <laughs> <laughs> the Executioner, Shatterer of Flesh. So this is who Adonius was talking about. Look at this room, this is absolutely daunting. Alright, okay, this guy. This guy's got some tricks. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, we already activated our room. That is good news. Unfortunately, we haven't made use of it yet. Got one critical hit in there so far. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda stay far out. Let's try it, Perry. Okay, he he follows up too quickly, I think, for that's that's very risky. <laughs> he follows up very quickly even if you parry. I think the I think the strat here is we're gonna stay far away. Maybe even use our our spell here. How much did that do? 35 damage. Okay, not terrible. 34. So far, this has been a a decent fight, but here we go. This is what I was looking for. Second phase. The game has changed completely. Okay. Kinda... Oh, I'm just randomly dodging those. The teleport move is very quick. So luckily his move set is largely the same. Gonna try to get a parry in there. Ah. Yeah, I don't think parrying this boss is the way to go. Oh shoot, okay. You know what? It looks like it looks like when I'm far away from him he starts teleporting. And I start spam dodging, which we want to avoid. I'm gonna try to stick a little closer. Ouch. We need to heal. We've got no more heals. Oh boy. It's getting dicey. Swing and a miss. Okay, stamina item. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> Okay, we need to bait some attacks. Like that. This is where we're living right now. We just got a random blessing, thank you. My heartbeat right now. Oh, 81, I love that critical. Oh, sir. That's the big wind-up. Where is he? Okay, hello. Oh, we were just out of range there. I'm gonna wait until he uses a two-handed attack, or at least a big 
axe. There it is. Oh, goodness, this is very crunchworthy. Oh, we still hit him right after he teleported. That is... We may have to use that to our advantage. Yes, we can still do damage there. Holy shit. Rune is activated. Went too, too late there on the attack. Another blessing that I can't actually look at right now. Come on. We can do this. I think a few more hits and we've got him. Stamina item. Come on. Oh my goodness, one more hit. Yes! <laughs> Foe defeated. Holy shit. <laughs> I cannot believe we just clutched that out. So there he is, the Executioner is down. And we are getting dropped from his arena. <sighs> Into the den of corrupted nature. Holy moly. And if we look, we see right here sitting uh, on the floor for us, his bloodied halberd. The number of lives taken by this weapon is beyond belief and has turned it red. That does a lot of damage. You know what? Even though our Smith's Greatsword has a rune attached to it, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop it and pick up. Oh, this looks amazing. And it's been added to the forge. That is lovely. I'm just going to kind of show that off right now. So we do have the parry with this. And as we swing it, we can see the blood just flying off of it. That is, that is awesome. Okay. And in this thing, we have one item, which is an incendiary idol. Unfortunately, not a healing item, which we are desperately in need of. Um, so that's going to be interesting. We'll probably die very soon in this area, but I think actually this is a great stopping point. So we're going to go ahead and call it here. Um, if we look on the map real quick, we see we just took on the boss here, um, and it's brought us all the way down over here into a new area, into the Den of Corrupted Nature, where I think we're currently in. Yeah, the Purged Hamlet. Um... So this is a brand new area altogether. There is still so much to uncover up here. Um, and I don't know how I want to progress with this. I think for the recordings, I'd still like to do the quests at least. So that will be reason enough to go back up here and explore these areas that have those exclamation marks. Um, but we'll say for you know main story progression, we'll definitely stay on course to actually um, you know filling out the map. So in any case, that was awesome. Can't believe we clutched out that um, that boss fight. <laughs> we'll see how far we make it in the next episode. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, buddy.